Welcome to Fallout 76, this is Jim. In this video, we're going to take a look at completing daily challenges for today, Wednesday, April the 17th, 2024. Let's take a look at and see what we got for today. All right, let's see if we got some good ones here. I have many videos on my channel that will help you guys out. I give you different ideas, different locations, easy areas, hard areas that were there. If you're a brand spanking new player to the game, you're a returning player, even if you're an experienced player, there's a particular daily or weekly challenge that's giving you a hard time or trouble. I'm sure you'll find a video on my channel that will help you. I try to keep my videos as updated as I possibly can. And of course, you guys are awesome with the great comments and tips, which is greatly appreciated. Uh, there is quite a bit of stuff we can do right here in our camp. But of course, we're going to take a look at this checked off one here first. It's called Collect an Audio Holotape One for One. So we do get this maybe once or twice a month, depending. And every time for me, as soon as I log in and my character starts to load into my camp, this checks off and I get the score without even having to physically collect <laughs> an audio holotape, which is, you know, fine with me. Now, I did ask the question uh, several months ago if this happens to other people. Some folks, yes, said yes, this does happen to me. Other people say it's not very consistent that Sometimes I do have to go out and collect them, and other times I do get credit for it. Uh, so we're going to go out here today, and I'm going to show you one of the best spots where you can find an audio holotape, despite many, many areas on the map that you can find an audio holotape just kind of laying around. But one of the best spots, hands down, is right down through Flatwoods. And uh, right down through here is, you know, you'll find all kinds of audio holotapes. So we're going to actually spawn here at the Green Country Lodge spawn up here and all through this town I would say like a, I wouldn't say every house but every second house at least you'll come across an audio holotape just kind of sitting there somewhere on the porch or inside the house or trailer and you just pick it up and uh, done and even off some of the corpses will come across audio holotapes on them so even like we're going down through town this first house right on the left hand side Let's take care of these mole rats here. Kind of heard them, uh, kind of trolling me behind me here. So again, here's our audio holotape right here. This is always here. It's always here. And we have uh, Willie May here. And uh, Willie May will always have a holotape on there on her as well. So you see a survivor uh, story. That's also considered a audio holotape. Okay, so if you come across a corpse like this down through Flatwoods, chances are They'll have an audio holotape on them. I know there's one on top of the church. And uh, yeah, like all through Flatwoods, you'll find these audio holotapes. And even if you've uh, went through here countless times, they'll just keep spawning in for you, okay? And uh, I'm quite surprised they still have as, as a daily challenge, to be honest with you. But uh, yeah, all down through Flatwoods, the best, one of the best spots, hands down, uh, for audio holotapes. It's very quick and easy, okay? Let's see what's next here, Jim. All right, let's go ahead here. We're going to head back to our camp. Right down here. We have a little lead deposit down here. Uh-oh. Being attacked. Something. The reason why I came back for some reason, right? Knew these guys were going to show up at some point. <laughs> so funny. All right. Back here at my uh, fairly new camp. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> we got a straggler. And I didn't even see him there. I don't know about you guys. I was standing right over there. That's weird. That's a weird one. Yeah. All right. Again, let's take a look here. Let's lock and load first, just in case another one pops their head up over that hill. <laughs> let's see what we got here. Okay, let's do this one here. Scrap junk to produce adhesive of five. So we can find adhesive all throughout the wasteland. You know, we have duct tape. We have uh, wonder glue. We have handmade glue. When you scrap weapons. You'll, you know, come across some adhesive and armor. Same kind of deal. Uh, not very much of it though, but for these particular daily weekly challenges, 
We might as well just balk it at the Tinker's workbench. It's the fastest, quickest, easiest way. And here's our Tinker's workbench right here. Let's go ahead and go craft. Go down here to balk. A balk adhesive right here. So as long as you have 10 excess adhesive, two plastic in your stash or scrap box, this method will work for you. Let's go ahead and bulk just one that's all that we need back out. Let's go back and scrap. I'm going to scrap the bulk adhesive we just crafted here. Dot scrap drug produce adhesive. Five for five. Dot just like that. Couldn't do it any easier or faster, guys. Seriously. What's next? This one down here. Scrap drunk to produce concrete. Ten. So same deal. We could find bags of concrete throughout the wasteland. A uh, real good spot for some concrete. Last time I was up there was right behind the house of uh, Clancy Manor. But uh, if you want to do uh, daily weekly challenges nice and fast and quick so you can move on to other great things, you can bulk concrete <laughs> at the Tinker's Workbench. Let's go ahead and go craft. Get down to bulk. Get down here to bulk concrete. So as long as you have 15 concrete scrap and two plastic in your stash of scrap box, again, this method will work for you. Let's go ahead and bulk just one. That's all that we need. Let's back out. Let's scrap. Let's scrap the bulk concrete we just crafted here. Done. Let's scrap that guy here too while we're here. Scrap drunk to produce concrete. 10 for 10. Easy. Super easy. What's next? What is next, Jim? We are on a roll. Collect stim packs or chems 5. So this is a good one here. So... Stem packs, we can find stem packs, chems, literally, everywhere throughout the wasteland. You can find this stuff littered. And um, I know it seems odd, especially if you're like a brand new player to the game Listen watching this video hearing me say that. After you get to a certain point, you're going to have so many stem packs and chems, you don't even know what to do with it. <laughs> uh, so stem packs, I find cultists and blood eagles will have stem packs on them when you kill them. Okay? Like every second one you guys have seen me do it on my videos and go after those cultists and blood eagles and like every time stim packs really one or two of them on them grafted monster will have stim packs on them as well uh now for chems uh let's talk about x rad and talk about uh, rad away ghouls it's a great source of uh, chems as well every second one will have x rad or uh, rad away on them and you just collect it that way right um, even in those areas where those human enemies are, like Blood Eagles and Cultists, you'll find stim packs and chems just laying around, like Point Pleasant. I think I have a video uh, I made maybe about seven months ago right here in Point Pleasant. And I think we got at least 30, <laughs> at least 30 chems just in this one spot, right? Really right. good spot. Train stations, That's train stations strange. will have those medical dispensers. It's going to cost you some caps, but... If you buy them, it's also going to count as collect. And another thing we can do is we can collect by crafting. And that's what we're going to do here during this video. And Raider Punk, you uh, keep talking to me. You're on your way out, buds. I'm telling you, this is your last chance. <laughs> this is your last chance, buds. I'm telling you right now. Let's go to our chemistry station. Let's go ahead and go craft. Hey, we got to have fun, right? Let's go down here to healing. And uh, so we got Radaway diluted times two. So as long as you have purified water and one full bag of Radaway, you can craft this. Okay. And then we have a stim pack diluted times two. Again, two purified water and, you know, one stim pack injection, whatever you want to call it there. You can craft this. So now watch what happens. And we use a certain perk card. Nope. Let's go under intelligence. And this perk card I'm talking about is called chemist. You get double quality quantity sorry when you craft cam so basically what this does is it's the same amount of requirements but it will double your results every single time highly recommend chemist when you're crafting any sort of chems uh under luck uh what we're going to do in this stacks with chems is called super duper now this one here happens to be a three star when you craft anything there's a 30 percent chance You'll get double results, and again, there's a 70% chance that you won't. So just keep that in mind. It's not going to work every single time, but they do stack. Let's go back to our chemistry station. You'll see what happens here. Go back down here to healing. See what happens? Right? Right away diluted times four now, but the same 
requirements. Two purified water, one right away. Same thing with the stim pack diluted times four. Two purified water, one stim pack. Really can't go wrong. Okay. So let's go ahead. We are going to craft just one of these. We'll get at least four. And I'm hoping the super duper kicks in so we don't have to craft anything more. Let's see what happens. There we go. See? See that? Collect. So we got six of five. So we got the uh, the chemist kicked in and the super duper kicked in during this video, which is awesome. It doesn't happen all the time. <laughs> but we got that 30%, so that's pretty cool. So there we go. Just don't forget to put your prick cards back. As you guys know, who's been following me for even a short period of time, know I'm uh, really bad for that. Put my card prick cards back to where they were. Uh, this way. That guy back on. There we go. So again, you can collect them off of dead enemies laying around. Get them from medical dispensers at train stations, or you can craft them. And, you know, why not craft them and do it right here at your, uh... Right here at your camp. Why not, right? What's next? All right, we got three left here, and uh, we can't do any more in our camp. Let's go ahead, let's go ahead and uh, kill, actually we'll uh, kill Blood Eagle 10. Do this one here first, it's on the way out of the ash heap here. So kill Blood Eagle 10, so again, you look on the map, we'll see these uh, little icons here, and these indicate Blood Eagles, we need 10 of them. And uh, so not every spot will have 10, sometimes they'll have 5 or 6, okay, the majority of spots. But there are certain spots like uh, Roland's Labor Camp. Uh, this one up here, uh, the kill box. This one over here, Crimson Prospect. These will have more than 10 in one area. It's just kind of that way there saves you from having to uh, fast travel so many times or walk <laughs> too far. Let's go ahead. We're going to go to Roland's Labor Camp. It's been about a week and a half since we've been here. Let's go ahead and take care of these bloody goes. Now, one thing good about these particular challenge, these this daily challenge is... It really opens it up. You know, we can use any weapon. We don't have to cripple them and stuff like that. So it really opens up. So it's nice and easy. Shoot this guy in the head here. <gasps> and if you want to use some grenades, definitely more than welcome. I don't know if we can reach him from here. It'll be, it'll be close. We'll pick that up. You talking to me? Get stuck. I think he's fighting something else over there. Could be wrong. <laughs> he goes his uh, brain guts there. Pick some stuff up here. And even in places like this, great spot to get chem. See how they have stim packs on them? Not every one, but uh, they'll have stim packs on them. And uh, just to kind of. Oh, look at that too. Beautiful. Big fertilizer. But yeah, usually these areas will have, you know, chems and stuff, and it really depends on the server. That's why I always kind of go to, is to craft them myself, and that way there, I'm not running around, because it depends on the server, really. I mean, you're looking for chems, you're looking for stim packs and such. You might get on a server, and it's like, geez, look at all the stuff I got here. And then other servers be like, geez, I got nothing. You know, you could be shut right out, and that has happened before. Let's get up here and uh, take care of these rest of these cats here. There is usually uh, one here with a power armor on. I don't know where it's at. Let's check here. Huh, odd. That is odd. Err. Nope. Stay 
upstairs here. Well, I'm shocked. I'm really shocked, guys. Usually there's uh, a couple more of them here. Usually they're up on that uh, structure. That looks like it hurts. That looks like we did that one a uh, favor there. <laughs> we can't get out of here. Usually there's uh Oh, there's up there. See him? I... Like if I stay still, that lunatic down there won't see me. <laughs> go that bloody go ten for ten. You see how I said? Oh, and there's this little friend. That's weird. What were you two doing up there, huh? What were you doing up there? See if we can get him. Yeah, there you guys go. Just like that. <laughs> Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let's go up there and see what that guy got on him. I'm almost afraid to look. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Good stuff. Alright, let's see what's next here, Jim. It's a good view right there. Let's go ahead and complete an event one. So I made a, a video, I would say about uh, three months ago or so, and it was called Complete Events for Newbies. Now, during that hour and six minutes, we did quite a few events in that video, and I was on a private server, and I spawned the vast majority of those events in myself, just from scratch, just by fast traveling to those areas. You can check out that video if you so wish. Even though it says Complete Events for Newbies, is more or less geared towards the newer folks to show them that they can do that. But even if you're an experienced player, you know, there's nothing stopping you from doing that just to get a dot. And that's what I normally do anyway. Uh, so let's go ahead here. Let's check the map for some uh, events. I didn't see anything uh, fast that we can have done earlier. This one here. Okay, we've got those Enclave ones. Um, so there are some events that we can spawn in ourselves. Uh, let's go ahead. We're going to go up here to Grafton Dam, actually. And uh, we're going to go do Manhunt, because this one here pops up quite often. Let's go to Grafton Dam and uh, take care of some super mutants. Alright, Mad Dog Malone was safe. So this one here is ti time sensitive, so it's counting down almost past from 8 minutes there. Let's take care of these guys. There he goes. My marshals will take care of transporting him back here. Yep, I bet your head hurts. Let's go ahead. Let's get something to eat and drink here real quick. And dog food will do. Thank you. Pick some stuff up while we're here. Nice caps from these guys. Alright, let's go ahead. Let's see where uh, Mad Dog Malone looks like he's on the second floor. Let's check up there. I am happy for me to hear him. But I am unique. But. Oh, you are unique. You have uh, quite the dialogue there, buds. Oh, there comes Mad Dog Malone here. He's going to come after us. Lock and load here. I don't. Just like that, and that's what happens. He just kind of goes down to a knee, and the prison marshal kind of takes over. And his gang down there is uh, looking pretty angry at me. Brother Bear? Yeah, what happened to Brother Bear? I don't know. Prison guards got him now. shooting at his head and he's uh, reaching for his knee that's weird there's a nice little uh, bobblehead here a little spawn point 
break. That's a good one to have. Pick some of the stuff up here. Look at this cartridge. And that's all you have to do for uh, just gotta subdue him. You know, we don't. I don't think we can even kill the guy. He just goes down to a knee, and then eventually, uh, Mad Dog Malone what? and the uh, prison Scared guard kind of disappears. <laughs> Where is this guy? I'm not 100% sure where he's at. Let's check over here. He could be kind of hiding behind here and, you know, yelling out. Uh, so, look at that little fusion core there. Great spot for a fusion core you can take. Um, so, let's say you don't have a key. Let's say, hey, Jim, I don't have a key to get in the Grafton Dam. How do I do that, buds? Well, what you do, okay, I'll show you where you can get the key. If this is your first time coming here, basically just make your way down here. You don't have to jump across there, have a jet pack. You just, you know, walk across that bridge, walk down here, or walk around the other side of the building. Okay. Make your way to this corner. And we're going to see this pipe with a big hole in it right here. Okay. I'm going to jump down it just like this. All right. Now, usually this uh, it's kind of glitched open for me all the time now, but usually if it'll be your first time, it'll be closed like this. And all you do is you just open it like that, okay? Now you do gotta watch, sometimes there is a super mutant down here, so you just gotta keep an eye out for that. There's a nice little box there. All you do is you work your way up these stairs. And you make your way either way, but there'll be a corpse here. And they'll have the Grafton DM keys on them. As long as you have those keys, you'll be able to open up those doors, okay? And I have those, you know, the keys don't weigh anything. I have a lot of keys and key cards that don't weigh anything on my person, so that way there, when I go into places, I, I can't. I can just open them up without having to worry about or worry about wondering, hey, how do I get those keys or uh, key cards again? Right? So FYI, this guy will always, even though I've had the Graf and Dam keys all like for a very long time, these still spawn in for me. Okay? So there you guys go. There's one more guy lingering around in there. I don't know where he's at. Let's go do the last one here. Kill Mylurk 5. So many great spots for Mylurks in the wasteland. Um, you can, will come across a video, an older video of mine, where we take you down here to Summersville. And this used to be a hot spot for Mylurks. Like, you spawn in here, there's a house on the right-hand side. It used to be polluted with Mylurks inside the house. And down along the river, polluted with Mylurks down there. There'd be a little graveyard there, polluted with Mylarks. Like, it was probably hands down one of the best spots for Mylarks. But now, they got rid of that. And there will be maybe about four or five ghouls in around these areas now. So just an FYI there. Um, another great spot for some Mylarks is uh, right up here at the Toxic Dried Lake Bed. Okay. I brought you guys up there before. And another great spot for some Mylarks is right down here. At Ohio River Adventures right now, this is probably one of the best spots. And, um, yeah. But they'll also have eggs, so when you open up the eggs, there'll be little hatchlings there. And the hatchlings will also count towards uh, killing a miler. Okay? Uh, so we're going to check that out here. Let's go to the Ohio River Adventures. And check that out. Hopefully I can show you. When you spawn in here, usually there's a couple milers just kind of lingering around here. Shoot them in the head. All right, so there's two of them. They do have milerk meat on them, so it's a good source of uh, food for your character, especially if you're brand new to the game or if you're a carnivore. All right, so that's usually two of them up here. Uh, now, there'll be along the river's edge, there'll be at least three more Mylurks, but there'll be all kinds of these eggs. And half the eggs uh, will be able to, uh, they break open when you touch them, and little hatchlings will pop out, and they will count as kill a Mylurk. Go ahead and take care of that guy. And um, he's going to run over here, isn't he? He's hiding in the water. Oh, he has his little friend with him. What I was kind of hoping to do is uh, open up those eggs there. Let's go this way. Another patch of eggs over here. I just wanted to show you though the little 
hatchlings count there. Alright, so there's some eggs here. Sometimes when they break open, there'll be a little hatchling. See it? Let's kill him, see how he counts. Okay. So some of these eggs we will be, we are able to pick up for other daily challenges, uh, just an FYI. Uh, but again, very rare. There we go. Kill Mylar 5 for 5. I just wanted to more or less show you those little egg hatchlings, but this is probably the best spot now because you'll be able to get maybe, you know, at least half a dozen, maybe, you know, Mylar hatchlings here. Uh, the Mylar Queen also counts. Uh, the Mylar King also counts if you come across them, but they're a little higher level uh, enemies, right? That's why I kind of usually kind of go for these spots here for you folks. All right. I think we're done. I gotta, I gotta repair my weapon here at some point too. Look at that. All right, let's see. Let's check. We are just like that, guys. Another easy one. Again, you guys can get them done a lot faster than me. Uh, I'm just doing a lot of explaining, a lot of yapping, but uh, I gotta do that because it's kind of like one of those tutorial uh, videos there, and uh, and that. So there we go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and share when you have the chance. It really helps me out. I'd like to thank my channel members, Artistically Arranged, Boogaloo Bronson, Michael Edwards, Nigel Whiffin, Heather, White Tribe Starwind 138, Robco. Thank you all so very much, and I hope you all have a nice day.